One of the leaders of the team, like, what's uh, the locker room like right now? It seems like after the three straight, three straight tough losses that you guys rebounded, you know, with a competitive spirit against Missoula. Yeah, um, we definitely had a tough little run there. I think, uh, you know, that Missouri, when we really felt like it was a missed opportunity for us. I think our defense played lights out, and honestly, uh, I think our offense let us down a little bit. And, and I think, you know, myself, AJ, and a bunch of guys on that uh, side of the ball will tell you that. Be the first one to tell you that. Um, but no, I think, and like I said, I think that the word in our locker room right now is opportunity, a huge opportunity. Of South Carolina team that Vanderbilt football has not beaten in a long time coming in here um, and a chance to do it at night game, and we're really excited about it. Do you feel like the bye week was good for you guys? Yeah, I do. Um, this was like the first time I think a lot of us had, we had the week zero games. So we had two bye weeks, and so it was kind of funky. Um, but yeah, I think anytime you get a bye week, it's a healthy mix of, okay, what can we work on, but also how can we get healthier? Um, and I think we did a good a good balance of both. When you watch Carolina's defense, what do you see? A lot of good players. Um, they got they got some dudes over there, um, and they're not afraid afraid to come up and, and, and press you one on one and and get in your face a little bit. It's, it's what Mizzou did, um, and they had some success against us. So um, would be surprised if we saw some of that. Uh, but really, like it's it's about what we do too. And, and and like I was saying earlier, you know, there were some missed opportunities in, in Missouri where we could have really blown that game open. Um, and so those those were really what we're focused on is is capitalizing on those. And that way, we're not turning on the film on Sunday saying. You know, shoulda, woulda, coulda, or, or if this happened, because that's what football is. Football is such a game of ifs, and we say, you know, if this happened, if that happened, yeah, but um, you gotta make it happen. So, what, what was the difference? I know that you wanted to beat Missouri, you didn't. You don't take it as a moral victory, but it was obviously a competitive game to the final few seconds. That wasn't the case with your ones before that. What was the difference? I mean, the opponents got a lot to do with it, but what was the difference between those games before that and, and the last one you guys played? Well, I think I think even in the games, um, you know, where the, sc the score was a little bigger, uh, you know, we're still competitive, we're still fighting, and, and I mean, don't get me wrong, no moral victories at all. I'm here to win football games, and everybody is. Um, but that's what it is, it's the fight in this football team. That's the stuff that's born in the off season through the summer. Um, and that's what we got. And I, and like, you know, you guys know me. Shoot, I've been here for 30 years. And so, like, <laughs> I've been a part of a lot of teams. And there's been some times where teams that I've been a part of in the past just lay down. And that's not what this team is. And it's not what, it, what it's going to be next week. And it's not what it will ever be as long as his coach is kind of pumping his message into, into us. So, uh, Last year, that, that loss to South Carolina, obviously, I'm sure was gut-wrenching. I mean, does that um, give you guys a little bit extra of an edge for this one? Yeah, that one. Uh, Definitely one of the, uh, I think gut wrenching. That's a good word or a good phrase to use. Uh, a really, really tough one. I remember being in the locker room after the game, specifically, very vividly, and coach being around. And, and yeah, that was gut wrenching. And so I think that's one we definitely want to have back. And, and um, as I said earlier, it's an unbelievable opportunity we got Saturday night. So we're really excited. All right. uh, this is so. The, since there's four games left, this is the time where some freshmen are probably going to play more because now they can play and still redshirt. Uh, so what have you seen from? Cole Spence in terms of like development. Yeah, yeah. So Spence is, uh, I'm really excited about him. I think I told you guys earlier in the year, he reminds me a lot of myself when I was younger. Um, long, lanky, athletic, uh, but he's got he's got it when it comes to, you know, the desire and the will to just go out there and do it. And he'll put his nose in there. Um, and he and I have been spending some extra time. We were up here late last night, at seven, eight o'clock, um, just going over the game plan and stuff. And so, you know, he'll get stronger and, and develop more as the year goes on, But but he's got... He's got the desire and he's got the will to go in there and do it. And really, as, as an older player, I appreciate that. And I'm sure the coaches, um, you know, if they got that, they can work with it. Uh, I guess it's like a housekeeping thing. I know the season's still going on. Is this, are you expecting this to be your last season? I mean, you do have one year of eligibility left. I yeah. Uh, when I, so when I came back, I remember when I made the decision to come back, um, I guess like December of last year, it was my full intention. Like, okay, this is it. One more year. Um, and it kind of has been that way throughout. And I think, you know, as you go throughout the year, a lot of things change. I don't, I don't have an answer for you right now. Um, I expect it to be, but I, uh, like I said, anything can happen. At this time last year, I was probably expecting it to be my last year as well. So, anything else for Gavin? Thank you, Gavin. Thank you. Thanks.